Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a new Apple ID or a new Apple account. It's actually quite straightforward once you know how. So let's get started. OK, guys, so here we have the iPhone. And the first thing we want to do is just head over to settings here, because this is where you can see your Apple ID. If you go to the home page of your settings, you'll have the very first settings at the top here, which basically has your name, it has all your account information. Click on that. It gives you an email address. You want to take note of the email address that you've currently used with your existing Apple ID if you have one, because that obviously is something that you're not going to be able to use again. OK, so just bear that in mind. You're going to be looking to create a brand new email address or linking it to another email address that you already have, right? So I can't use that email address, but I have got other ones that I can use, right? So just take note of that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to Safari. In this case, I've got a private browser. It doesn't have to be private, but you know, just a Safari page will do or any other browser that you're using. And we're going to head over to account.apple.com and you're going to land on this page just here. Now, this is where you would essentially sign in or manage your account, right? But we want to create a new Apple account, a new Apple ID. So up here where it says Apple account, there's a little arrow pointing down. Click on that. And then here you can see it says create your Apple accounts. So we're going to click on that one just there. This is the pair we basically can create a new Apple account and a new Apple ID. So we can go ahead and fill in all this in information. I won't do it for the purpose of this video, but it should be pretty straightforward from here. You can see, put your first name in, your last name, your country uh, that you are in. That's quite an important one because you do get different functionality depending on what country that you are actually creating this account for. Um, so for example, the iPhone that I currently have is actually uh, UK. However, um, I actually live in the UAE now, so I should actually create this as more of a United Arab Emirates um, account. But anyway, you've got your date of birth, all that kind of usual information. And then here is where you would put your email address and confirm your passwords, right? So that's where you would have to put in an email address. Maybe you've got a Hotmail account. Maybe you've got a professional account, uh, you know, professional, professional domain account, that kind of thing, work account, whatever it is. You'd put your email address into here. You'd save your password and, well, put a password in and confirm it. Make sure it's right. Obviously, a phone number for verification purposes, how you want to verify, and then all the kind of usual stuff right here. And once you're happy with all that, you would click on continue and you would create your brand new Apple account and Apple ID. And so there you have it. That's how you'd create a brand new Apple account and Apple ID directly on the iPhone. Of course, that account can be used on any Apple device and will also work. The same method will work on an iPad if that's what you're looking to do. If you have found this useful, informative, smash that like button for me. Really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, subscribe for more hints and tips and I will catch you all in the next one.